popularly known as the human computer her ability to perform lengthy calculations in her head made her a mathematical prodigy she was gifted with an exceptional ability to carry out complex mathematical calculations in her mind at a speed faster than the then available computers today we look at the life of the exceptional math genius shakuntala devi shakuntala devi was born on 4th november 1929 Her father, who used to work in a circus, discovered her exceptional talent when he taught her card tricks when she was just three. Soon, he left the circus and started performing various road shows with Shakuntala to exhibit her exceptional ability. Shakuntala Devi did not receive any formal education because her parents could not afford the school fee. Her first major show was at the age of six at the University of Mysore. According to one of her interviews with the New York Times, she had become the sole breadwinner of her family at a very young age and the responsibility was huge. In 1977, Shakuntala Devi visited the Southern Methodist University where she calculated the 23rd root of a 201 digit number in mere 50 seconds whereas the then fastest computer Univac 1108 took 62 seconds to find out the answer. One of the landmark achievements of Shakuntala's career was the entry into the Guinness Book of World Records in 1982 for needing less than half a minute to calculate the product of two randomly assigned 13-digit numbers demonstrated at the Imperial College London. In 1988, Arthur Jensen, an American psychologist, writer and professor at the University of California, Berkeley, conducted several tests on Shakuntala Devi's skills and published his findings in the journal named Intelligence. However, none of the objective tests could decipher how she was able to have such exceptional mental calculation skills and abilities. Shakuntala Devi has described some of the methods and techniques for mental multiplication and calendar calculations in her book Figuring the Joy of Mathematics. While she was popularly and fondly known as the human computer, Shakuntala believed that the human mind has incomparably more capabilities than the computer and it is not appropriate to compare the mind with computers. Shakuntala Devi married Paritosh Banerjee, an IAS officer in Kolkata in 1960. They had a daughter Anupama. In 1979 the duo separated. Apart from being a math genius, Shakuntala Devi had authored several books on mathematical calculations as well as written a few fictional novels. One of the most contested books authored by her was The World of Homosexuals, which claimed to be the first published academic study of homosexuality in India. In the book she critiques the stereotypical ideas and beliefs associated with homosexuality in India. In a documentary released in 2001, Shakuntala had said that she had set out to learn more about the challenges faced by the LGBTQIA+ individuals to promote wider acceptance. The documentary also revealed that during the promotion of the book, Shakuntala Devi had said that her ex-husband identified as gay, but in an interview with the Quint in 2020, her daughter refuted the claim saying it was false. In 1980 Shakuntala Devi entered the political fray and ran for parliament. She contested the Lok Sabha elections as an independent candidate from Mumbai South and Medak in Andhra Pradesh where she contested against the then former prime minister Indira Gandhi. Shakuntala Devi's life also inspired the Bollywood movie Shakuntala Devi in 2020 where actress Vidya Balan essayed the role of the mathematical prodigy. She passed away on 21st April 2013 due to cardiac arrest. in a patriarchal society that still continues to follow very skewed gender ideas that believe girls are good in english and boys are good in maths the example of shakuntala devi is one that shatters all such gender stereotypes shakuntala devi was and is an inspiration to many